Welcome to BeJustAChristian.com. My name is Perry Hall. This is what Joseph gets to do. That sounds more pleasing than this is what Joseph is commanded to do. The second phrase focuses on God's authority to command his servants. Because God is God and I am not, I have no problem with that. But the first phrase focuses on our attitude. When put together, it means we get to obey God. That should be exciting. An angel of the Lord appears to Joseph, son of David, Matthew chapter 1, verse 20. There are three things Joseph gets to do in obeying God. The first is immediate, but difficult because it involves emotions. Emotions are hard to control. Don't be afraid, Matthew 1, verse 20. Being told not to be afraid is like being told, don't look behind you. You're going to look behind you, and you're probably going to be afraid. The second thing is, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. This takes courage because he must go against social norms. He is marrying a woman who is carrying a baby, not his own. Now, how many people do you think will believe him and Mary when they tell the real story? The third thing that Joseph gets to do. Name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Emmanuel means, which is another name for this child, God with us. And Jesus means Savior. The only way we can be saved is if God is with us. Obeying commands from God is not all Joseph gets to do. He gets to participate in the prophecy being fulfilled. And believe it or not, we do too. Jesus came to save people from their sin. While Jesus saves us, we become part of Jesus' history, and Jesus becomes our whole eternity. If you'd like to learn more about the one whose name means Savior, please contact me at bejustachristian at gmail.com. Thank you very much.